School principals say they're being forced to make sacrifices over library space as roles swell and class sizes grow. As Sam Kelway reports, figures obtained by One News show many are opting to do without libraries altogether. At Rowandale School, space is at a premium. So this is our dark, dungy-looking library? Carl, it's pretty small. You wouldn't even get a class in here. No. The Manurewa School's library has been downsized as it grapples with the need to accommodate more students. In 2014, the roll in July was 460, and at the end of last year, 2016, we reached 650 students. The library is now so small it can hold only a third of its books. There are hundreds of other schools in similar situations. But just to illustrate how small the space is and why teachers aren't using it, we've invited 24 kids from this school in to use their library. Figures released under the Official Information Act show 178 schools have no dedicated library at all while 330 schools have less library space than they're entitled to. We've got the situation because government is underfunding education. Despite all the denials, they are not providing enough money for schools to have libraries. What's actually happened here over the last decade um, is schools have chosen, some of them, um, to not um, build libraries or to build smaller libraries. The ministry says while it determines the overall space a school occupies, Decisions about how non-teaching space is used is the job of Board of Trustees. At Rowandale School, they're just boxing on with what they have. We can't get enough books into the rooms, uh, into the room, because if we put more books in there and the books that we really, really want, like the reference section, uh, it will take up all the space. The school hopes one day all its books will be on display for more than just a few to enjoy. Sam Calloway, One News.